Well, welcome to another uh, Memphis Monday. Uh, glad you could uh, show up uh, today. It's Memphis Monday uh, 81. Today we're going to build a hammer handle and a cedar storage box for a uh, for a fishing rod or a fishing reel. Uh, here's a hammer handle we're going to build. We're actually going to build a couple. And here is the little cedar box we built because we're going to do all that stuff. But we're not going to get anything done. We don't what? Knock off the chatter and get to work. Oh, well, we got another handle job. Now, what I've done in preparation for videos, I made a couple of prototypes. Um, this one is kind of wood called live oak. It's a kind of oak tree that uh, stays green even in the winter. This is uh, pecan, which is another kind of hickory. But I think I'm going to make this one out of, uh, out of oak. Yeah, I got it roughed out where I've just uh, shaped the end here uh, so that it fits through the first part of the hammer. Now it's got to be uh, shaped smaller because it's got to come through the middle but that gives me a starting point and by doing this first I can make sure that uh, this end is lined up with the uh, hammer. Okay, I got the uh, <clears throat> I got the hammer on there. It's right up against the uh, the bevel here on the back, and then I'll flare out the uh, front, and so it won't come off the top and it won't slide down the handle. I put the template on here, and I marked out out the places that need to be carved out, and then I'll square this thing up, and then once it's squared up. Uh, to the dimensions I want. I will knock off the edges of the rectangle until it's an octagon. It's squared up. Everything is uh, 90 degree angles and it's got four sides. What I'm going to do now is uh, go back to the sander and put a ease this corner, all four corners, and that'll give me eight sides. Here I'm putting the finishing touches on a, uh, a hole to put a hanging strap through. Um, I don't know how valuable it is in reality, but it gives the handle a nice finished look. Now before I put the whole thing together, I'll uh, do a little hand sanding, make it nice and smooth. Here's the uh, prototype out of hickory, and here is the uh, piece we just did out of oak. Let's put the head on it. Okay, you want that head to be on tight, and the way to do that, probably done this kind of slam it into the table. You want it in tight because you want it up against uh, this bevel here in the back where it's supported. Okay, the next operation is the wedge. Hold that uh, wedge in with a little glue.
what I'm doing here is uh, applying a mixture of fine sawdust and epoxy to the top here. Doesn't need it for strength or anything, but it just looks better. Epoxy didn't take very long dry, so I put the little hanging strap on there. Did a little sanding, and now we're going to put some uh, linseed oil on it. I'm and then there's the uh, work we did with the wedge. So there's our finished hammer. Looks pretty good. I'm satisfied with it. And I also put some finish on this uh, prototype handle because it uh, it's just as good as the other one. Our next project was going to be to fix this fishing reel. But when I got it home, my plan was I was going to take all the paint off of it, take it apart, clean it up, and uh, you know, and repaint it and all that stuff. Make a new wooden handle for the crank and all that. But then when I started doing research into it, I found out it was a, a uh, Mitchell Garcia 300. Uh, they haven't made them for about 30 years. This one's about 40 years old. It's, they're not particularly rare or super valuable. But they are an important uh, fishing uh, memorabilia, at least, if not an antique. And so I didn't want to uh, mess with the finish or uh, mess with anything. Uh, but we are, what we are going to do is I'll, I'll put these new parts on it. Uh, but what we are going to do is we're going to uh, build us a box to put it in. And I kept thinking about the, the joints we're going to use. We haven't used this particular joint. This is a hand cut, a hand cut uh, dovetail joint. We've done hand cut dovetail joints, but this is a special kind. Uh, this only has one uh, tail and one pin. Uh, gives it kind of a nice effect. So let me put the uh, new parts on this reel and then we'll get started on the box. Let me show you why I didn't uh, show you the repairs to the fishing reel because I didn't make any repairs. All I did was put that, replace that screw right there which was missing and I put a new little handle knob on it which was missing. Okay the box would be a about seven inches square. That's basically the shape of, shape of our box. I uh, want to make sure that the thing would fit before I go to all the trouble of uh, making the dovetails. Okay, here on our sample, our practice piece, uh, the first thing we're going to cut is the tails. That's this part right here. I gotta cut this angle cut right here and then take out the bottom. And then this darker piece right here that comes through, that's called the pin. Right now, let's make all four tails. Okay, what I've done is uh, carefully laid, laid out my tails. Um, it's uh, five centimeters here and three centimeters across here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut, make cuts with my dovetail saw along those diagonals on all, all four of them. What I got to do now is chip out everything that's not it's not tail you can do this with uh, you can do this with a coping saw 
I've even done it with a bandsaw. Here I'll show you how to uh, <coughs> nibble that wood out with a uh, with a bandsaw. Let the, uh, I went ahead and uh, clamped the box up and I let it sit up overnight. Let's take it apart and take the clamps off and see what it looks like. Okay, this is what the joint's going to look like. Uh, I sanded this one down, but I haven't sanded the other ones down yet. I'm going to glue the top and bottom on it because I'm going to uh, sand it all as a unit before I split it. I won't be using any brads, any mechanical fasteners on the top, but on the on the bottom, I'm going to put in a few brads. Here I'm trying to gingerly <clears throat> place some clamps on this uh, lid. The problem with not putting any brads is on something you glue is it wants to it wants to slide around on you well, here's our box all roughed out let's uh, do a little bit of sanding and maybe we'll even uh, run it through the router Put some stain on the uh, one of the joints because uh, you can't really see them otherwise. Um, but that's kind of what the joints are going to look like. Here's one that's not stained. Pretty hard to see. Okay, let's run it. Uh, let's run the thing through the router and see if we can dress it up a little. Now I'm going to be putting one of these draw catches on it and I'm going to be splitting the case next. I want to make sure that I have enough room uh, to put the catch part. Uh, so I'm going to come up about 10 and a half centimeters, uh, for about four and an eighth inches. Uh, when you split these cases, there's a lot of uh, methods to 
keep the box from kind of collapsing down the saw blade. Uh, the method I'm going to use here is I'm not going to cut all the way through. I'm going to leave maybe a 32nd of an inch. All right, let me uh, sand these edges here and we'll get excited. Well, I'm going to stain it with a color I don't think we've used before. It's called Sedona Red. I'll uh, stain it before I put the hardware on it. Putting the hinges on. Now, what I do for these small screws, provided I have soft wood like this uh, cedar, is I just use a uh, an ice pick to get them started, and I screw them in with a small screwdriver. I almost forget it. Almost forgot I had this. This is a 12 volt driver. Well, our box is looking pretty good. What I'm doing here is uh, I'm going to take this piece of felt and glue it in the bottom of the box. Well, here's our fishing reel box. There's a gift nobody wants. I thought the box was uh, looking pretty ugly at first, but it's kind of growing on me. Well, I guess that'll do it for another Memphis Monday. I think we got our money's worth today. We, uh, we built our little storage, uh, storage box for our fishing, fishing reel. And I think it's uh, going to turn out all right. But you know my buddy's going to tell me. He didn't ask for no box. He don't want no box. So, but he can't throw it away because it's a gift. And we also, uh, we also built another one of those uh, octagon handles. And we actually built, we actually built two. So, Yes, we had a pr pretty, predict pretty productive video today. Uh, like and share and Facebook and tweet and you know, all that other stuff. Make sure you comment. And I guess that's all. Nope, 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 nope. I think I remember one more thing. Make sure you're back here next week for another exciting Memphis Monday. Thanks for watching.